Hi, this is Mick Elliott of Electronic Specifier at the Embedded World Show in Nuremberg. This morning I'm on the Pico Technology stand. The company has launched its Series 6000E oscilloscope at the show and here to talk about some of its features is Trevor Smith of Pico Technology. Hello Mick, thanks very much for the introduction. So uh, yeah, we've launched uh, actually two new models. Uh, they're, they're both part of the 6000E series. They are both eight channel 500 megahertz oscilloscopes. They're actually MSO, so mixed signal oscilloscopes. So eight channels and um, 16 digital channels. Uh, the scopes, has, as I mentioned, they have 500 megahertz bandwidth on the analog channels and really deep memories. So one of the models has two giga samples of capture memory, and the other one has four giga samples of capture memory. And the other thing that really sets these things apart is that the, the top model, the 6824E, has a, a flexible resolution architecture. That is to say you can choose to have eight bits resolution with a maximum sampling speed of five giga samples per second, or you can trade some of that sampling speed for improved resolution, so 8 bits or 10 bits or 12 bits at, at reduced sampling speeds. So it's got the choice of speed, resolution, memory depth and channel count to address the, really the, the new and next generation of embedded systems design and debug. Okay. And is there any it's embedded design debug, do you see that operating across the board of applications? Yeah, broad range of applications. Um, so it's supported with the, uh, the PicoScope 6 software that we've got running here in the background, So uh, it's a, which is a, a already a widely adopted range of software on, on our other range of PicoScopes, uh, with support for things like math channels, um, mask limit testing, uh, segmented memory, and actually up to well, 21 serial protocol decoders included a standard. And the, the most recent one of those is Broad RH, the automotive Ethernet um, uh, standard. So, uh, we, we, and it includes a, uh, a software directional coupler. So, for looking at full duplex traffic on um, twisted pair wires you can separate the, the traffic going in, in both or in each direction and, and decode master to slave and slave to master communications. Okay, some of these features uh, are, are, are obviously uh, trend setting. Is that something that through talking to customers you, you've integrated these characteristics into the scope? Yeah, we've got a lot of feedback. So um, whenever anybody um, downloads a software update, so we, we provide software updates free of charge. Um, so every, every few weeks or sometimes you know, every couple of months we supply a, a, a new version of PicoScope with new, new capabilities and while the software is downloading and installing we just give a little opportunity from people to, or from customers to tell us about what, what they want next uh -huh. in, the, in the next generation of PicoScope. So we're always capturing this feedback and things like um, broad our reach, as I just mentioned, and before that we, we launched uh, DALI, which is a version of Manchester um, encoding. We launched a decoder for those technologies, and they were directly as a result of um, of customer feedback and requests. And it's uh, yeah, that that's really what drives the development of the well, both the hardware and the software. And just to be clear, the scopes are available now through yourselves and distribution. Yep, so we, we've moved into production. We, we launched the products uh, yesterday, actually on Monday. Um, we've, we've got the first uh, production batch now coming through this week. And uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're busy ramping up production. So initial shipments are, uh, are on their way. What I should add as well, that um, in conjunction with the scope, we're, um, we've also uh, launched this uh, novel um, new uh, we're calling it the pro positioning system. So given that most engineers only have two hands and we've yeah. got a, an eight, <laughs> eight channel scope, um, the, these guys, they need some help in, in positioning probes on, on test points and um, holding them there secure while they make the, the, their tests. Yeah. And okay. you know, two, four, six or eight channels yeah. 
And the, so the pro positioning system, it's, a, it's got a magnetic base and then these gooseneck probe holders that then we, we clip in the standard um, high bandwidth probes. And then as you can see, even with a bit of movement, those, um, those pro probes, they sit securely on the, on the test point. So it's, uh, you know, it's designed to match the, uh, the eight channel scope that we're launching. Okay, okay. Trevor, thank you very much. That's terrific, thank you. Thank you, Mac.